Strength for Runners, cycle one, week two, session three. For today, in terms of equipment, all you need is some weights, so kettlebells or dumbbells. Ideally, at least one of moderate weight, okay? If you've got a pair of the same weight, then that's even better, because I'll show you how we can utilize those in the session today. But as long as you've got at least one weight of moderate, moderate resistance, then we're all good to start for the session. So going into the warm-up then, first movement we're gonna do is those 90-90 hip rolls. So remember, we want to set up into this 90-90 position. So we have the first, the one knee going straight out to the front, 90 degree bend at the leg, then the other knee out to the side, again with that 90 degree bend at the leg. If you can, try and sit as upright as you can to again, increase the stretch that you're gonna feel in through the hip capsules. If you can't, place your hands just behind you so you can still keep a relatively upright torso. The more upright you are, the more you'll feel this stretch. The more you lean back, the more you take away from the hips. And then from there, we're gonna lift each knee up to the ceiling as we rotate through the legs and shifting that weight across from one side of the glutes to the other. And then again, same 99s position, but now reversed, okay? So really focus on staying as upright as we can as we rotate through. Or as I said, if you need to, hands behind you, still the same movement, lift the knees up, keep as upright as you can, and you're still finishing that same position, okay? So we're gonna alternate sides, and we're gonna go for 10 each side on those. So 90, 90 hip rolls. From there, you're gonna go into your single leg glute bridge. So again, remember, hip width stance with the feet, tuck the pelvis under, lift the hips so you've got that good position with the glutes, one leg straight so that the knees are next to each other so the legs not up here like this, they're both pointing at the same angle, lower the hips down and drive up. Little pause at the top, keeping that tuck and control the descent. And you're gonna go for 10 per side on those. Then from there into your squat to stands. So you're gonna set your feet about shoulder width apart with the toes pointing out slightly into your squat stance. You're gonna bend forward, keep the legs straight, pull yourself into the bottom of the squat. So drop the hips down, lift the chest, try and keep the arms on the insides of the knees and then stand. So bend forward, squat and then stand. If you can't touch your toes with your legs straight, go as low as you can first. So really stretch out the hamstrings, then bend the knees just to allow you to get to your toes before you drop into that squat. The depth of the squat isn't the priority. Keeping your feet flat and equally distributed, so front foot and uh, back of foot, as you hit the bottom of the squat is more important so that when you're in the bottom, you're not onto the toes like this, okay? So just adjust how low you drop the hips to allow you to focus on that. So that doesn't matter if your chest isn't as high or your torso isn't as vertical, focus on just trying to keep the equal weight distribution across the feet. And you're gonna go for 10 on those. Then you're gonna finish off with just a quick bear hold, just to activate the core and the upper body. So remember, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, toes curled under. You're gonna press through the floor with the hands to then lift the knees just off the ground, keeping those arms straight. And you're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. So just a quick hold and then moving on to our main session. So 90, 90 rolls, 10 per side, single leg glute bridges, 10 per side, squat to stands for 10, and then the bear hold for 20 seconds. So all movements back to back, then one round on that, focusing on quality and control, all right? On to the main session. First two movements we're gonna do are some split squats and some side laying adductor. So we did the adductor movement in session one, so we try and get those sort of more stabilizing muscle groups worked in twice per week. Um, and like I said, we're gonna introduce the split squats now for real good single leg training. So for the split squats, you can obviously start on body weight for these. They're quite a challenging movement if you've not done them before. But in terms of the movement and setup, it's gonna be the same regardless of whether you're doing body weight or using weight. So you're gonna take a big step forward or big step backwards. So you've got a nice wide stance with the feet like you can see here. And they want to be about hip width apart. So they're not one foot behind the other. So you can see from the front how wide my stance is. I'm not super narrow like this, okay? From there, the focus then is to bend this back knee and drop the hips straight down so that this knee stays over the ankle and not pushing forwards over the toes. So as you can see, if you watch now, drop the back knee towards the floor. This knee is above the ankle 
and then we come back to standing to lock out that front leg. The back knee should just touch the floor if possible. If you've got the range of motion and control, bring this back knee so it gently taps the ground. If not, just go as low as you can, focusing on keeping this knee above the ankle. If you've got weight, you're gonna take it in the opposite hand to that front leg, if you've just got the one weight. So kettlebell in my left hand because my forward leg is my right foot. Movement stays the same. Control up and down. If you've got two weights, then feel free to overload it even further and have a weight in each hand, that's absolutely fine. Now, if you really struggle with balance and you can lift the weight but you find you're wobbling all over the place, then like I've got here, have the one dumbbell or kettlebell in one hand, the opposite to that front leg. Set yourself up near a wall or a post like I've got here and just have a light grip onto it to give you some balance support. So remember, the main focus here for this point is working that single leg strength of the quads and the glutes, not the balance. So like I said, if you need to, use something like that to just gently hold on to as you lower yourself down. So you can see I've just got a fingertip grip. I'm not gripping it for dear life, just to give me that bit of support. You're gonna go for six to eight on one leg, so all the reps on one side, and then six to eight on the other leg. Then from there, going into your second movement, like I said, you're gonna do your side lying adductor lift. So remember for this one, lying onto the side first, get into a comfortable position with the upper body, take the top leg, bring it up, bend the knee so the foot is flat on the floor. It doesn't matter about the position of the foot or anything like that, you just need it flat on the floor to leverage against when lifting the bottom leg. So the bottom leg is nice and straight, Keep the inside of my foot is pointing up to the ceiling, and then we're just gonna lift that leg straight up, hold for a second at the top, and lower back down. And all we're doing there is working the muscles on the inside of that thigh. You're gonna go for 15 on one side, and then 15 on the other. So split squats, six to eight per side, then into your adductor lift, 15 per side, Rest for 30 to 60 seconds, and you're gonna do that for three rounds, okay? Then your second two movements, what we're looking at now is some reverse snow angels for posture, and then some side plank uh, knee drives for again, that lateral core, those obliques. So for the reverse snow angels, all you're gonna do is lying on the belly. We're gonna get our forehead resting onto the floor, and then have our arms straight out to the front with the palms facing down. Now for this exercise, all we're focusing on is keeping the arms and palms off the floor as we go through a big range of motion to work those shoulder blades. So resting the forehead down, we're gonna lift the hands up, bring them straight round to the sides, keeping the palms facing down, all the way down to the side of my thighs, and then back to the start, keeping them off the floor throughout. Obviously, I know you can see I'm bending one of my arms because of the post in the way, but the aim is to keep the arm fully locked out like you can see with my right arm as we go. So we're literally just doing this movement whilst lying on the floor. Keeping those hands equal height off the ground throughout the whole movement. You're gonna go for 15 reps on that one first. Then you're gonna go into your side plank knee drives. So remember, setup is key with the side planks, elbow under the shoulder, legs nice and straight, so there's a straight line all the way from foot to shoulder. Foot stacks on top of each other, then push the elbow and the heel through the floor to lift the hips up. Make sure this top shoulder doesn't roll forward like this, so rest it on the thigh if you need to, hand on the waist, and then all we're gonna do is pull one knee into the chest, hold for a second, and back to the start. All the while fighting to keep those hips up. You're gonna go for 15 on one side and then 15 on the other. Remember like we talked about, if the side plank is too challenging, then go to a regressed version where we have the knees in a straight line with the shoulder, just like the normal side plank, but then the feet are bent and the feet are directly behind those knees. And again, we can lift the hips up and go into the knee drive like that. If you find that you can do the side plank, but the knee drives is just a little bit too much, then focus on doing straight leg side planks and doing that for 30 to 60 seconds per side, okay? So from there, like I said, you're gonna go into um, your uh, reverse snow angels for 15 reps, then into your side plank knee drives for 15 per side, or as I said, static hold for 30 to 60 seconds per side. 
Again, 30 to 60 second rest, three rounds on that. All right, any questions, give me a shout.